mental, but if they never come to life because you never take action, then who cares? I mean, it's, you really didn't do anything with that. Yeah. We need to order our actions according to virtue, according to, you know, what's good, what's true, what's beautiful. The problem today is that we've ordered our actions towards what we're passionate about, what our passions are telling us, what, what makes us feel good, uh, you know, what gives us pleasure. And you know, there's, not any, there's nothing wrong with being passionate, with, uh, you know, feeling good, having pleasure. The problem is you have to direct those things towards what is good. They have to be directed towards what is virtuous and not the other way around. And I think that's the real problem is that if we only focus on tweeting out things that are going to get lots of likes, well, does that really matter if they're not true, if they're not good, if they're not going to help people? Um, so, and and I think that just applies to everything that, that we do today. I, I almost feel like the social media and the internet has molded us so much that it everyone is just going out there and doing things to like impress other people and instead of uh and ultimately um doing things because it, it's it's good and because it's pleasing to god and, and i think the real question is obviously well what do you do um i think a lot of people are really down and out about the state of our society um, and it could be for a lot of reasons, you know, it could be because Biden's president and the world's ending or, you know, whatever it may be. There's a lot of reasons for people on really both sides of the aisle politically or culturally to to feel bad about the state of things. And I think if you look at polls, how much, however much you trust them, they kind of reflect that direction of the country is not going very well. And it hasn't whether Trump or Biden or Obama's in office. And I think this this gets back to the tragedy to comments, which I brought up at the end of my last comment, where. A lot of people can look out at society and see that a lot of these things that they may not like, let's say if you're, you know, much more traditional, you're, you're a Catholic or a Christian, you know, you may not like the over-sexualization of culture, or you may not like, you know, let's say casual dating. That's something you and I are talking about in our podcast right now, Brian, and the issues with that. Well, because it's so far out there, it's being pushed in every single aspect of society, you may just say, okay, well, if everyone else is doing it, then I might do it as well. And that's a, you know, that, that's a real argument a lot of people have to deal with, especially young people. And it's not just about sex or relationships. There's a lot of, a lot of, you know, realities that people struggle with that they have to, you know, kind of contend with. And I would actually tie this into the whole GameStop and shorting stock thing. One of the things that's come <laughs> out today, which I find hilarious, is that they're... All of the major news companies, last week they tried to get people to sell GameStop and they tried to make it seem like all of these companies like Melvin Capital were selling their shares, which they're not. Um, or or, or they're, I'm sorry, they're... 